What produces the dark energy? Fusion reaction or does anyone know? I mean, they can't see dark energy or dark matter, so who? Correct. Uh, at this point, predict. It, they make attempt by quantum mechanics to see uh, how they could uh, predict this so-called expansive energy, which is pushing things or the galaxies apart. Mm -hmm. And to it really humbles, uh, you know, the scientists because the estimates they make by using the most successful theory, the quantum mechanics, is off by 120 orders of magnitude on that vacuum energy. Mm -hmm. And the cosmological constant, which is again another way to represent that vacuum energy, which Einstein used as a correlation parameter in his equations, uh, is also very small as if you match the data of the universe, it's of the order of 10 raised to the power minus 52, very small. Okay. And that does not match. I mean, it's not even close. It's so many orders of magnitude off from the from the quantum mechanics prediction, theoretical predictions, mm -hmm. that it's uh, one of the biggest unsolved puzzles uh, in cosmology today. Uh. None of the theories, including Einstein's theory, does not tell how do these photons move at speed of light, which is the force that accelerates them to speed of light. Uh, we know that we turn on a switch, a light, a light mm -hmm. bulb, you turn on the switch and the light glow, you know, the, uh, the element glows and the photons come out running at speed of light. Now what pushed them out <laughs> and why, what makes them go at speed of light? Yeah. Because the Einstein's theory tells you that uh, the equation he has in his special relativity that in order to accelerate any particle, no matter how small that is, and if you need a force to accelerate it, its mass goes up. Mm -hmm. The moment it starts moving, its kinetic energy goes up, and that becomes as equivalent to mass. Yeah, so okay. mass goes to infinite if it goes at speed of light. That's true. So now, yeah. this is the dilemma. How is the universe full of this light particles, which probably accounts for 70% of the energy, vacuum energy, where these photons are? Mm -hmm. That's 70% of the energy of the universe in that vacuum space, and maybe another 25%, which is dark matter, which is unknown. All that energy in empty space may be because of this phenomena, which we cannot even account for how does this happen? And in fact, what is really intriguing that none of the theories of physics tell you or calculate as to how does emotion start. Mm -hmm. They start from Newtonian mechanics to Einstein's theory and to quantum mechanics. It, yeah, it's a big kick start, right? Yeah, hmm. it's already taken for granted that mm -hmm. things are moving at their own. And in quantum mechanics start with the assumption that there are fluctuations, pre-existing fluctuations mm -hmm. in particles. Now, where they came from, it's not a question of why. This is not a, a religious question. <laughs> or, I mean, the, the, there's a very scientific question. How does the motion in inanimate matter start? And how mm. a particle can get to... Uh, speed of light. Spon yeah, spontaneously. Yeah. Uh, spontaneously. Not only that, if you take, uh, uh, it's a very well-known phenomena, the wave particle duality. Mm -hmm. We see that uh, you pass a photon through a slit, it becomes a wave. You know, you get the diffraction pattern on the, on the screen. Yes. But the same particle when goes hit the screen, it acts as a particle. Mm -hmm. So wave particle duality is a well-known scientific phenomena. And we have wave theory of Bohr's, uh, um, uh, of uh, de Broglie ha equation, which predicts the wave uh, length of a photon mm -hmm. or electron. Electron microscope works on that very principle that electrons behave as particles and wave. Mm. So it's a well-known theory, but there is no explanation. W how, what is the mechanism that governs a particle to become a wave? Mm -hmm. and a wave to become a particle at its own without any external force. 
So I basically honed in, focused in on that particular aspect. Einstein's theory establishes the equivalence of mass and energy, but it only tells that mass can go up. The equation he has that when mass m starts moving, mm -hmm. it increases because you add energy to it, so it goes up. Now, as it goes up, it gets heavier and heavier and heavier. As you keep pushing it, pushing it, it Towards gets the speed so, of light, yeah. yeah. So, in fact, if you take a photon of neg neg very negligible mass, well, they assume photon has no mass, it is so small or it's negligible, but take any other particle like electron or something. If you push that to speed of light, the energy theoretically you would need to accelerate to that speed of light would be infinite, mm -hmm. which is not, does not exist in the universe, yeah. if the universe is finite. So where do these photons come from? How do they accelerate to the speed of light? What causes them to become a particle and a wave at their own without any external force? Mm. What is accelerating the universe? So all these questions, what I'm proposing in my book, have a common missing physics. Mm -hmm. And that is that some of the masses, not all, the, the our classical masses, they cannot convert to energy by themselves. But some of the masses that are not bounded by nuclear forces, uh, like a photon is, mm -hmm. it's not a classical mass. It can convert its energy to kinetic energy or mass. When, when it sees an obstruction, its velocity goes to zero and all the kinetic energy converts to become mass. Mm -hmm. And when it's free to move uh, in an open space, it converts all its mass energy to kinetic energy. Yeah. So it starts, and the equation which I have, it uh, predicts that no matter how small a mass, no matter how small, you can what, imagine any smallest mass which you can imagine mm -hmm. has enough energy that if it converts itself to kinetic energy, it can attain speed of light. Mm. So it's Thanks. an equation which you so solves the problems of uh, uh, such as um, the accelerated expansion observed at those distances mm -hmm. and the supernova yeah. data, you can predict that. You can yeah. show that how this phenomena can explain that because the way it works is that you go farther and farther in the universe, you have bigger and bigger volume, mm -hmm. so there's more and more vacuum energy and it, as you go farther and farther, the volume increases tremendously, it goes by r cube and as the volume increases, you have more energy in that in the space. Mm. So it pushes it fa faster and faster. Causes it to accelerate. It's so that's what causes the acceleration. Mm. And with that you can